It's Duper Thursday! Woo! Yeah! Carlos is here. That's a new one. Yeah. That's, Damn. Yeah. yeah. That's like Metallica. Yeah. This Jane. Yeah. 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 It's Thursday. Ooh. Yeah. Damn. Whoa, Okay, I've been interrupted. Hello. Yeah. Hey, it's all right. Okay. No. Uh, yeah. This week we're going epic, which is why we have Carlos. We go epic every week. Epic. Yeah. Epic. Try to be. Epic. Yeah. So hey, Matt, like... look what he's wearing. Yeah. That's nice. You guys are twinsies. Twinsies. <laughs> and we're the fattest he's, ones in here. <laughs> he's my Latino brother from another mother. Oh yeah. What's wrong with that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're going epic, and we're doing what? Uh, we're doing the old and the new, actually. Are we? Yeah. Uh, we're going to start off with the, uh, <coughs> this one, right? The it's Message in a Bottle, um, which is modeled off of the original IPAs that were brewed in New Zealand in the 19th century. So cheers. 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 Welcome, Carlos. Thank you. Thank Hmm. So this is going to be a little bit more like English style IPA, which is what you, we're not really used to that from Epic because Luke is very much about like uh, hops, San Diego, yeah, seriously, you know, very much West Coast IPA style. For IPAs. some reason, I thought this was going to be like a brown ale or very something. Well, it's, it's very, it, it yeah. almost is actually. It's almost like a bit hoppy of a, a brown ale it has or a an very amber in anyway. no. And this goes along with it's a almost, book. It's almost kinda, I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it's almost kind of smoky. Does anyone else get that? I get it because I had a smoke porter in here before. Maybe that maybe that might be. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like I don't have any smoke <laughs> like, characters like, at all. Um, Rinsing, guys. That's what you do. But I had another beer in here in between that. That's how smoky that beer was. Wow. No, that's definitely not smoky. <laughs> yeah, no, it's this is it's, <laughs> it's modeled off of the prohibition uh, style um, or the, the pre-prohibition style IPA. So it's like a lower in alcohol. Um, the hops are not as aggressive on the aroma Ooh. or on the flavor. I definitely get a lot of that. I don't know if it's a certain uh, malt character or what, but it's almost like I can smell some alcohol, like a good amount of alcohol in this. A little bit, you know? yeah. Yeah. I get, I get, I get it's a got a nice of, fusel note on the nose. It burns but a little it's bit. Not, yeah, but it's not on the flavor. Like, I don't get it on the flavor profile. And it the first doesn't thing hit thought, my tongue at all. A little bit. The first thing I thought was like kind of barley wine-esque. Mm-hmm. On the, I got a little not, caramely, a little bit. Yeah. Well, and I think yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what you're going to get so off of caramel? these older a style bit. IPAs right. is because that's essentially what they were, is just kind of like bad barley wines. Well, and that's not what yeah. this is, obviously. This is very, you know, very delicious beer, but it's brewed in that style where it's, you know. The ABV, 7.5. Yeah. I got to say, though, I mean, I'm not discrediting the beer on the aroma. It smells really good. Mm-hmm. It's just that's what I'm getting off of it. It's, it reminds me of like a... Barley wine light. You know? yeah. It's it's very old world in that like, yeah, like English not, style. Not in that old double IPA kind of way though. No, no, no. no, no. no. Old, old, old I would almost say like that this is like the for the people. rope bridge yeah. between an IPA and an old ale. Yeah, no. Yeah, well, and like old ale is like a very like English thing where you would basically take like a big ass brown and age it forever. And so, you know, English beers tend to take on that kind of like an, a, like an old ale is like an, an aged version of that. Flavor. So um, it's very like uh, smooth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's nothing that really uh, bites you. Yeah, there's definitely nothing offensive on it. There's nothing aggressive on it. It's just very. Um, <laughs> I'm not offended by this beer. <laughs> well, no, you know what I mean though. Like you have some, you, you have some hoppy beers that it's like, yeah, this tastes good, but the hops almost get to the point midway through where they're, they're becoming kind of yeah. offensive. Yeah, well, you're just like, God, it damn goes it. like, it, calm it, down. Yeah. It's smooth. It goes down like a brown, like just yeah. like a lighter brown it's just, beer. And it's yeah. just got like a nice little hop flavor to it. That's I can not see that. Yeah, the the malt character gives it that brown essence, mm-hmm. um, but it's definitely. Hoppy enough and bitter enough to let you know, yeah, this is an IPA ish yeah. kind of thing, you know. Yeah, like, like you said, it's 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 very very English styled, where it's well, it's, and back it's, in the it's, it's a lot more malt character than we would usually expect, especially right. in Southern California. Well, and that's the thing is is back in the 19th century, IPAs did not taste like IPAs do today. No, not that, at all. They weren't even close sure to it. Even didn't. the stuff you get over in England or in the the East Coast that are more English style IPAs are not. Are way more bitter and hot forward than any of the IPAs were yeah. back in the day when it actually meant into P- India pale ales. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know, when it was so, actually meant to be shipped overseas, right? And, you know, whatever. But yeah, it's. I mean, it's for thinking this was supposed to be a brown ale. It kind of this is this is really good for uh, for what it is. I mean, yeah, it's super tasty. It's, it almost makes me want to brew a beer like this. That's mm-hmm. kind of a, an English influenced. 
Hey, you know IPA, what? You know, um, <clears throat> you know <throat> fall and winter are coming up, and like that's always been like English beer season for me. You know what I mean? Like I love having, you know, those. Um, this I said motherland by ship. I was reading the <laughs> <laughs> Carlos is like, I'm not listening to you. I'm just reading this bottle. Yep. He's doing but, his um, own show. Yeah. <laughs> motherland by ship. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, no, I mean, it's like those those maltier, like, you know, fuller bodied, like, English style of beers. I always like, like, even, even like, you know, ESB, you know, it's, it's a little bit more malty. It has more of like that, right. you know, spicy, earthy hop character. That's always been like a fall... Winter thing for me. I'm just like, just yeah, ESB. But, but I wouldn't compare that to an ESB, honestly. <laughs> like, it's definitely no. Well, well, maybe. I mean, it's it's like a bigger version. It's of like that, a you know? double ESB. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's a DESB. Well, so we have Carlos on the show, um, and um, part of the reason is because you know we've been missing master pairings, and yes. um, Carlos pairs very well with beer. So <laughs> yes, so does his um, meat. So does his meat. Yes, it does. And I promise and that will sauce. be the only joke. No, nah, it won't be. Um, <laughs> I mean, Carlos, you smoke meat. Yes, I do. Talk in about a smoker. That. In, a in smoker. my smokers. I so smoke. and it, it tastes delicious. It tastes fantastic. I do pulled pork. Everything. Tri tip. Ribs. Yeah, me and Carlos just actually did um, kind of a combination barbecue brew day thing. Yes, it was um, fantastic. Yeah, he you smoke some some tri tip. Made a barbecue uh, sauce out a of water. A little hungover that day. It wasn't <laughs> wasn't yeah. the best morning for me. Yeah, it wasn't. But uh, <laughs> it was a lot of Poor fucking John. smoke. Like yeah, it was yeah. like I didn't expect it to be that smoky. But the beer. Turned out pretty well. I actually just tapped it, and then I threw five gallons into a whiskey barrel. So, yeah. and it was Wait. and it was cool because I mean, like you were you smoked some of the malt, but then you also smoked the malt like on top of the meat that you were. Yeah, and so it got some of the dry rub flavor, and I used the apple wood, and so it yeah, it's got a definitely flavor. super smoky aroma, but that didn't really didn't carry really over to the taste, yeah. which was good. I like that. Good. I think that's what I was kind of going for too. I just wanted, you know, the the essence of essence of the smoke. Essence. He wanted Carlos's <laughs> essence in the beer. But the oh, rub, actually, the funny thing in was the rub, the rub, the spikes. <laughs> We're twelve <laughs> and a half. Exactly. <laughs> the spices in the rub, you know, uh, came through quite well. And I did like a Initially, chipotle coffee rub, so it kinda, yeah. I don't know if the spices came through as much on the final product because you do get a lot of that blow off from. No, but it came through on the grain when we were tasting the grain. At, oh like, yeah, yeah. After it smoked, you could taste a little bit of the spices. It's not like you were just putting your nose inside of a smoke. Yeah. So Thanks. if Bang. any of our audience in the SoCal area ever wanted to try some of your tasty meats, would they be able to? Yes, I'm gonna start doing some catering. It's Big G's barbecue. Big G's. Big J's. It'd be not Big Jesus. No. Big G. No. Big, Big G's. Big oh, gangsta. Okay. Yeah. Big. I think Big Jesus smells my lawn. Or uh, but anyway. Big, <laughs> big. Is that like Big Granillos? Oh, yeah, my last name. Big Granillos. Yeah. Yes. It's just the first. Formerly known as G Spot Barbecue. Yeah, that wasn't a lot to use that one. <laughs> 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 it wouldn't appeal to everybody. Uh, well, um, everything's homemade. Homemade sauces, homemade rub. Right on. Make great barbecue sauce too. Thank you. Yeah. He's an up and comer. He's gonna. You're gonna see some shit from him one day. I guarantee it. So, and we'll see him we'll, on we'll, master pairings one of these days. But yeah. it'll be a little ways off. But. The beers we made, we're gonna take to Bill's house. He's gonna smoke some more meat there, and we're gonna pair the two beers, the whiskey version and the regular version, if they turn out fine for, and if Bill likes them, I guess. Yes. You like keep the pork industry alive all by yourself, you know that? Not just the pork. Is that a fat joke? <laughs> just all right. bacon, pork, pork butts, and pork, pork shoulders. Butts. Burnt butts. Yeah. Not burnt butts. <laughs> I said burnt butts. <laughs> oh, pork butts. Yes. Uh, well, I so. think we need to go to an edit marker. Yeah, so uh, we're going to try this beer now. Yes. So we're back, and we're going to now go into the... New of our epic old and new, um, and this is the epic NZ IPA, and uh, this mm. is called First Batch. And if you're wondering, like I was, why he had First Batch on one of his IPAs, because it's like, dude, you've brewed batches before. You've done IPAs before. You've done stellar IPAs before. Um, this is actually brewed with. Uh, you want to drink that? Yeah. All right. Um, this is actually brewed with uh, Waimea. Waimea, I believe. Waimea hops. Um, which hop, right? at the time of brewing didn't even have a name. So these these hops are have never been used commercially except for this beer. So that's where the first batch comes from. They were from. like SR seventy one or something. Right, like they had like some weird code name. Row with thirty nine hill twenty seven. I gotta say, yeah. my like favorite thing about this bottle, Epic has awesome awesome labels. They're very yeah. simple. This is my favorite label. 
The Hob it's, Zombie label glows in the dark. I know, but this is <laughs> this is just black and white. That's freaking. Yeah. It's very stripped epic. down. Very I, stripped and, down. Oh, it has like a weird like. Oh, and the 043953, That's the code. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's yeah. The, that's the name of the hop before they, you, they uh, make. They have beautiful labels. It's yeah, he does a good job with that stuff. <laughs> so, cheers to new hop varieties. Oh, wow. Yeah, and no, to pick a, pick a, pick a glass. Luke and Epic and yeah, thank you. You know what? Too. Cheers to all of you in New Zealand. We love you. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow, wow, that's nice. This, wow, this is. That it's is got an cool. interesting aroma on it. It's like spicy. Yeah. Like, Spicy yeah. hot. It's it's like it's spicy. It's almost but like it's a jalapeno still, hop. Yeah, it, it's but it's it's nice. It still has that like Habanero. that Citrusy. little bit of like tropical kind yeah. of essence that you get. From I get a little bit of like a little fruit. That's crazy. A little That's spicy. Kind it's like, of yeah, it's like fruit. danky spicy. Mm-hmm. You know, right? No? There's a there's a lot going on with yeah, this. Yeah, this is wow. crazy. And there is some spice on the the uh, back end of the tongue. Is this a single hop? Like I believe so. Yeah, yeah, I believe it Ooh, is. This Am I right? There's a little bit of like kick on the back it, of it. It flattens out and then kicks you. Yeah. There's a little bit. Is it just me or does this almost have like a candy kind of candy kind of thing? Like what kind yeah, of candy? Yeah, like like a like a Jolly Rancherish kind of kind of candy thing going on. I don't know, but I would almost swear that this was like infused with some sort of chili in it. It's zippy. Very little bit. Yeah. Very it's little zippy. bit. Yeah. Like not not like a Chipotle beer. Are you but talking like, like a? Like a, a burn a, that you'd get from a pepper? You get just a little bit of a slight the end, spicy like kick it. at the end. And it's not a burn, because I, I wouldn't classify it a burn. So it's not a burn. It's almost yeah. like a it's almost like pepper. Yeah. It's yeah, almost it's, like a pepper spice. It, it's not a burn like a oh, it's a it's a right. burn like a like like just like a little like the back like, of your sinuses kind of thing. Yeah, right. exactly. Exactly. Like it's but it's Wow. I gotta say the malt on this too. I mean yeah. it, it's, it's I think that candy thing you're getting is like that. It's like a good hot malt mixture. It's That's what I mean. You get that little fruity note, and then I don't know you, what you get the malts that were. like the sweetness, and then it just mellows out and then kicks you at the end. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> this is this is a bizarre, like not bizarre, bad way, but like there's like you said, there's so much going on yeah, with this. It's like going, going on, on. It's like, here, yeah. for a single hot good, beer, yeah. like this is really freaking complex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the name of this hop again? Why may? Why may? Why may? Why may? I? I? Yeah. It smells great. Yeah. Like what, what could you like brew with this? Like oh, blend geez. like with other hops, you know. Like oh, what if man. Simcoe? I don't know that this would work. Or, I don't think this will work well in teams. <laughs> like, no, but that's Citra, what I'm saying. You I don't know Citra, that, Citra, right? Citra no, I know. But I mean, yeah. it's like, a, like I feel like this was this has so much going on on its own that what would you add to this? Well, yeah, it's think, got the citrusy tropical fruit notes. It's it's got a little bit of the <laughs> dankiness going on. It has that little spicy kick at the end. Like I, I just don't know what you would even need to add to this. Maybe a little bit more bittering. No, no, because no, I don't. I don't get. A, I don't get a lot of bitterness off of it, even. Well, it's it's pr- it's pretty dang dry though, and so you don't really need a lot of bitterness. Mm-hmm. I think it's very dry. Yeah, yeah it's very balanced. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but the it's beer nice itself is great, and we're we're focusing more on the hops. Well, but that's. But, I mean, that's uh, what the point of this still, beer is. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, know. It's like Sorry, it, this no. is crazy. It's However, kind of blowing my mind even, a little bit. It's even got tiny little hops by the QR code. Oh. And it's got a QR code, so cheers to that, Luke. Yeah. That's yeah. That, that, way to that, embrace technology. That, that, that brought up a website that's all like Bookman style text. Yeah, <laughs> Courier, all it is. Courier ten. Yeah. <laughs> just, just you know, this this beer is about the hops, but the beer itself is amazing. It's very great. You know. Yeah, it's a very good. I beer. mean, you, I could, this is this, I'm the gonna, summer beer. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna go out on a limb. I, I might say that this might be my favorite epic beer that I've had. I want a forty of it. And this is six point eight. I want a forty of it in a plas- in a paper bag. Yes, that I can I do. wander down the streets of Riverside with. Yes, I do. <laughs> hey, yeah. Mobile. Mobile. This is inspirational. I want to make a beer like this. And I will right. skip, dude. I will <laughs> skip. I will frolic through Moreno Valley in this bag with a barbecue sauce. You know, if Luke hears you say that, he'll probably send you a forty just so he can get pictures of frolicking <laughs> through Moreno Valley in a paper bag. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> frolic. You have to frolic. The reason we're doing the epic beers again because we've had epic on the show before. But I got to hang out with Epic for the last two and a half days, and it was awesome because is his name Epic with Luke Nicholas. Um, I think he, I think he should legally change his name just to Epic Epic Nicholas. Um, Did you? Did but no, I, I, I got to. Oh shoot, you're out too. Sorry hmm. about that. Mm-hmm. Wow. There you go. <laughs> this is so going in the show. Well, I, I, hope, <laughs> I hope I do get a forty of it. John steals all the beers. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, no, I got to hang out with Luke, and we had a we had a blast. He's a really hard person to hang out oh, with thanks. because. He is a crazy partier. Oh, nice. And I am just too old. 
<laughs> yeah, because you. So never, by you, Sunday, I was you, sitting. You, you've never been known to party. No, not a little bit. Uh, no, by Sunday, I was sitting wow. at the bar at Beachwood, just like you've broken me. I'm falling asleep now. <laughs> like, I am done. <laughs> Please just let me go home and go to bed. Uh, but it was a blast. Had a good time with him. Uh, really appreciate him bringing the beers out to us. Yeah, and, totally. And like I, it's, it's it's a total treat to, I mean, to have the beers basically. Well, they weren't delivered by the brewer, but no. I mean, he he came into the states and then FedExed it to me from San Francisco. So, yeah, I mean, it's, so but it's, pretty it's much still it was hand delivered. Yeah, they, they, so. they, they still get so yeah. that's kind of what happened. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I mean, I. Thank you. He saved And there's, there's no better day than the day that a case of epic beer shows up on your doorstep and you're just like, okay, today's going to be epic. Yeah, there's really yeah, no, no bad. Get some epic 40s. <laughs> Thank you. Epic 40s. <laughs> there's really no That's bad. That's a hashtag. That's a hashtag. <laughs> That's a hashtag. Epic 40s. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, what were you going to say? I was just going to say there's really no bad epic beer. <sighs> yeah, no. seriously. No, there's one. Luke, you know which one it is. We'll talk about that later. I think I know which one you're talking about. Oh, I was just kidding. There is a girl. <laughs> no, um, I can play yeah, that game. I, I'm actually trying to think. Like, have I had one that I didn't like, and I don't think I have. Yeah, no, I, I haven't. One great thing about getting New Zealand beers here is that you know a lot of you know, like uh, you know British Isles and European beers. I mean, they hit the East Coast and then they kind of filter their way here. New Zealand beers, West Coast first. Yeah, boom. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that that all y'all. I guess he's flipping off the East Coaster. Coaster. Yeah, yeah, it's all, you get all the imports first. Until until next spring when Luke goes out to D.C. for CBC and then decides he likes the East Coast better, then we're screwed. Yeah, well. <laughs> right not, now he's a fan of the West Coast. That's so. not going to happen. <laughs> we're, we're really good on the Armageddon IPA barrel-aged. Yeah, barrel-aged well, Armageddon barrel is amazing. Is very awesome. good. Yeah, that's funny because that, that made me a believer in barrel-aged IPA because I was, I've always been kind of a That was the first and only, yeah, I, think yeah. the, well, I think that's the only barrel-aged IPA I've had. I've had, yeah, I've had one or two. And I, when no. the first time I was given that bottle, I was, and it was when I met Luke the first time, I'm like, barrel-aged IPA. I don't know that this guy understands brewing. <laughs> Like, but uh, then I tasted it. And I'm like, oh, I stand completely corrected yeah. because it's amazing. Yep. Dare you? It's that. delicious. <laughs> yeah, that was yep. years ago though, so I was a newbie. Yeah, There's a new word. Too. One year ago. Delicious. delicious. No, it was actually two and a half years ago. Oh, okay. Well, anyway. I'm wrong. All right. Carlos, Anywho, thanks for being on the show. No Thank problem. you. Thank you for having me. And you have a little bit of beer left to cheers Goose. with. Ah. Uh, so you... uh, until next week, stay safe and drink beer and get empty like mine and be epic, bitches. Yeah.